All right, count your days, GoPro. Count your days. This is likely the last video I'll ever record with a GoPro. Because yet again, my last video I recorded, I went to edit it yesterday. No, day before yesterday. And the audio was messed up. I'm so tired of GoPro. So I ordered the Insta360 Ace Pro. And uh, we're going all Insta because I like this thing. It's really good. I mean, look, it even survived my wreck. Look at that. You know, and it's still kicking good. I, I love it. The software is great. The device is great. So, yeah, we're moving away from GoPro. Um, it's always the videos that I think are going to be the best, too. Sorry, I'm getting my stuff right. It's always the ones that I think I'm gonna, that are going to be the best. And it messes up the audio. Like, I even check the audio before every session because I don't want to do all the work and then find out in editing that it's messed up. I suspect it will be a touch of a learning curve because, I, I don't know, I, I just have a feeling. Um, I'm hoping I got the setup right. I'm so glad someone besides GoPro made a good chin mount camera. I'm probably counting my chickens before they hatch, but this thing has been great. Couldn't be better. So I'm happy. And yeah, I did a video and I'm going to try to recreate it, I think, because it deserves recreating, but I don't know. Recreating never works good either. But I did all the work to my wife's bike. Um, I did fairings. They're really cool. They're pink and black. Um, I did underglow lights, you know, flash tune, air filter, block off plates. Um, I feel like there's more. But I did all that. I was just chilling with that light. <laughs> and took it on a ride. And it was a spectacular ride and a really good video. And the audio is all scratchy. Like, you can kind of hear it, but I'm not going to release that. And that's why there's no video up this week. I'm probably going to edit this one and put it out tomorrow, which is Thursday. Which, because it's not my normal scheduled day, it'll probably get crap for views. And that's okay. I just need to get some content out. Oh, and then there's my helmet. All my electrical stuff. I pay a lot of money for electrical stuff that messes up. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? That's that Cena. And it's funny, when I try to get it to talk, it won't. So... Maybe uh, Cena should count as days, too. We're just going to slide in here. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, heading to the gym right now. I have been just hitting the gym hard lately, guys. Like, I haven't really lost weight, but I put on a good amount of muscle. I've actually gained a little weight. <laughs> but I've been doing creatine and protein packing. Also a lot of cardio and stuff, but um, I just started uh, doing a calorie deficit, trying to get my stomach a little bit down. We're going to cut down. When you're trying to lose weight, doing it like a bulk season ain't the way. Or like a, a bulk ah, cycle. <laughs> so today actually is just cardio day and a little bit of my PT which I'm finally able to do some light weights on my leg my legs are lacking hard right now guys like it's so bad I can pinch like a good amount of skin on my legs and I'm doing like the first plate on lifting I'm doing uh, the one you know the, the kick outs I don't, I don't really know the actual name for them um, so that's what I've been doing for legs and I've been doing uh, I can do a decent amount with the uh, uh, calf raises weighted calf raises and I can do a little bit more also with the uh, uh, basically squatting but I'm not squatting um, you know where you sit down and kick the plate out but as far as upper body and cardio man I've been getting it in I do 25 minutes a day on the elliptical and that helps my leg a lot and it burns a lot of calories and then I usually weight lift for 45 minutes to an hour um, and I've really been 
Now I've been big before and been in good shape before, so it's it comes back easy. I've really been packing on muscle. Honestly, I feel like doing the creatine rocket uh, has helped me to put on more bulk than I've typically had. Like I think I feel like some of my muscles are bigger, but you get like body dysmorphia from lifting weights. Like you'll think you're tiny, and everyone's like, "Oh man, you're huge." Like my wife just thinks I'm huge. I'm like, nah, I ain't seen it. <laughs> but I'm doing all right, you know. I'm not the biggest. I'm not really going to be huge, but I'd like to, you know. I'm in my 40s now. I'd like to have that weight that goes with being my age, you know, have that muscle, that boom. Because you get a stout when you're middle aged, man. I just want to get rid of my stomach, and that's where I'm stuck at. Because that stomach is a. Uh, Probably not even as bad as I think, but I totally got a dad bod right now. A buff dad bod, but a bad dad bod. Same thing yesterday, it kind of described it as like, uh, my body type is you can tell I work out, but you can also tell that I don't turn down cookies very often. <laughs> so I feel, I feel that one I like to eat. I've been calorie counting the last few days though, so we'll see where we get with that. Now that we've done with life updates back to GoPro another thing that drives me nuts about GoPro so it doesn't work it does not at all transfer them to my computer like it's supposed to it's supposed to when I plug it in just transfer the files on over it doesn't um, it, it did when I first got it and then it just it, they got the worst software dude and uh, then so I have to get in the app and get into the camera through the app like you link to camera and download the videos and it doesn't like to link dude like <laughs> I have to try like three four times try different stuff and it's so annoying I'm just done with it like don't go GoPro anyone doing this stuff don't do GoPro it is the worst like i i don't like them i'm gonna sell this camera online after i uh get my insta and get comfortable with it and that's just what it is because i'm tired of dealing with gopro and, and this this is something i'm serious about this moto vlogging thing and GoPro's messing with it, man. Like, when I do these good videos only to have them messed up, that really messes with me because I put a lot of work into this. And even recording them, man, I think about what I'm going to do and I try to, like, really project my personality. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not acting. This is, this is who I am. But I do a lot of, like, projecting because it's hard for me just to talk empty you know so i gotta like really focus on not being lame about it because you just be monotone and you know so we're just riding here so i try to like really project and amplify dude what the hell y'all seen that right what a turd we're gonna make him facebook famous i want to get next to him though and this horn is somewhere different, so I always reach for where my regular horn is. I just want him to know. Dude, like, he almost hit me. I can't believe these people, man. That was, and he knew, he knew I was there. See, that's, that's stuff I deal with. And then I do these reels and shorts and all that. And people are like, oh, you're carrying around. And I'm like, everyone wants to complain about bad bikers. Which they are there. Do not get me wrong. But, so I'm going to point out bad car drivers. Because everyone wants to be like, oh, I'll just run over bikers. Turn them into speed bumps. Because they don't care about their lives but the, the fact of the matter is is cars do all the stupid stuff bikes do just in different ways like stuff like that like he didn't care oh turn my insta back on yeah it's so like whenever i capture something i always turn it off so it's easy to find <laughs> it's better than sifting through footage 
Um, yeah, so that's been like kind of my model. And then I need to, I keep saying this, but I need to stop gangbanging in the comments sections. It's just unhealthy. You can't argue with stupid. People are going to hate bikers no matter what. And that's just the fact of the matter. Like straight up, that's the fact of the matter. And, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. And it just is what it is. I accept it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna capitalize on it because it makes my videos big on the internet. Is it farming views and comments on that? Probably a little bit. Does that mean I'm gonna stop? No. I mean, I'm sure not gonna put myself on there going 170 miles an hour splitting between cars. Not that I could do that with the Grom if I wanted to. We're full throttle right now. <laughs> we are. This is what she has, y'all. Um, yeah, so, anyways, off of the negative, let's not focus on the negative, that just, that caught me off guard, because I was talking, I was doing the video, and it just, maybe I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have, and they almost got me, man, like, he didn't give a flying F about me, really wish, I, I'm a cusser, like, I swear, y'all, and it, it bugs me that, we're in a censorship era where I got to watch what I say in all my videos, all the reels, all that. Oh, wow. They're cooking. Not for long, they're not. <laughs> I'm not even mad, though. I like to go fast. I don't hate on that stuff. Just do it safely. There's a time and place and a way to do stuff, you know what I mean? And that's the thing some people don't get. There ain't nothing wrong going fast, unpopular opinion. But there's a time and place. So what was I saying? We're talking about um, GoPro. No more GoPro. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of it. Do something different. Hey, thank you, guy. I appreciate, I pre lady. I appreciate it. A lot of people would have just cut me out there. <laughs> But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, with these videos, I put a lot into it, man. A lot of thought. Because I'm kind of a shy guy sometimes. Like, I'll just sit there. And, I, I am and not. It's, it's a really weird contrast, actually. Like, I'll just sit there quiet in the camera. And some days I do. And it's I'll be recording a video and just catch myself just, uh. <laughs> I usually, I'll either edit that out or end up not using those videos. Because y'all don't want to just watch a speedometer of someone going the speed limit. I get there's a huge market for the guys who speed around because I like watching that stuff. It's fun to watch. I like to speed. I don't do some of the more extreme stuff. I don't like to speed through traffic because I don't want to end up a grease stain. But I like watching it. I, and not because like some people that hope that they're going to smear. I don't hope that. I hope they make it home safe and all that. It's just fun to watch. Uh, me personally, I'm not going to do it. A, I'm on probation for bike-related offenses, and my PO would not understand. And B, I didn't make it to 41 by being stupid. Hey, I'm going to be 42 here in a few months. I didn't make it this far by being stupid, you know? Like, you got to be smart about things. If you uh, fly too close to the fire too many times, eventually you're going to get burned. You know what I mean? So I try to like reserve it. I've had a few wrecks, you know. Two major ones where they could have been so much worse. I barely got hurt. Like even this last one with my knees and all that, man, it could have been way worse. Like way, way worse. The same day I wrecked uh, someone I ride with. I wouldn't call him a friend because I just met him, but he was cool. He was on the way to becoming a friend. Uh, he passed away a couple hours after my wreck in a wreck. So it can happen just like that, y'all. Mine was pretty minor, you know, a little knee damage, you know. It's okay, honestly. I, I'm a huge believer things happen for a reason. It's pushed me to be a better person in a lot of ways. And focus more on my fitness. Because it's given me that time. And realize that life's too short to work my 65 hour job. Hour a week job. Um, I'm still, I'm, I'm going back in a little less than a month. And I'm still going to stay there for a while because obviously I like the money. It's good money great benefits um, until I can figure out a way to get out of it but I realized I was going to stay with that company 
indefinitely until it wrecked it made me realize some things having this time myself and being able to go to the gym not just sneak in a 20 minute workout in the morning for work like be able to actually focus on being the me that I, I want to be and that I should be you know was it awakened something inside of me so oh there's my chair yeah does my singing suck y'all let me know in the comments right below so we're gonna go get this uh cardio and i'm gonna try to do at least 30 on the elliptical but i think i might aim for 45 just really get it in you know we're gonna try and then i gotta do some of the pt stuff you know leg lifting this is my leg day technically so i kind of sub it for what i can do so on that happy note we're gonna get it in i may be back afterwards i may not you will find out. <laughs>